Welcome to multiplayer Oreo Let's Play style. So I am back to Edna and Harvey, which it's actually been a really long time that I feel bad about. Um, and it was pointed out to me that I hadn't gone back and played this yet. Well, uh, time got away from us. We had a bunch of stuff going on and wanted to keep up with the multiplayer videos and uh, mostly because we just enjoy playing video games as friends, so a lot of times when you're getting tons of videos of us playing together, it's because we were bored and wanted to play games, so we just record it for fun. Um, but I do want to get back to some of the Let's Plays I said I was going to do. I do have permission to play quite a few that I haven't gotten around to. Uh, but I want to get back to Edna Harvey and, and finish this off, because, well, I haven't done it yet. So, um, it has been a long while, so let's take a look. I believe we were talking to this guy before we left last time and got the phone. So it would appear that we would need to use that. And like I said, it's been a long time. But if I remember right, there was a phone somewhere. Well, it was a core without its phone. So let's see. Oh yeah, uh. It goes over here. I want to telephone. Oh, it's helpful, Sybil. <laughs> okay, so we should be able to. You. Oop. Yep, see? That's how long it's been. I don't remember what I'm doing. Use this with cable. I'd have to be a telecommunications engineer in order to fix that. Hmm. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um. So, I've got some shears, which I don't think is going to help me with this part. Hmm. Hmm. Empty. Well, that's not very helpful. What was that? Oh, what? Okay, what did I... Change! Oh! I... You know... I don't know about phones, but I don't think touching this part of this phone... Or this... Device with a phone should make it... Alright, what if... So, it's been a while. I know I talked to him a lot last time. And he won't let me in. I believe B Man is over here somewhere. Oh yes, and then we've got the the chute that I can't go into yet quite. Uh, I believe that was bathroom and Petra. No, this is bathroom and Petra. Okay. Okay, so here's B Man. But I believe I talked to him a bunch last time, too. Um, hmm, what else did I have? Alright, well, you know what, let's, let's just talk to him for now, because it, it's been a while. Hello, B-Man. Hello, stranger woman. Um, you can call me Edna. Pleased to meet you, Edna. Who's your little friend? That's Harvey. He's helping me to escape. Hi, Harvey. Cool get up, buddy. All right. Um, why are you wearing a bee suit? Why are you wearing a bee suit? To show solidarity with other men in bee suits. To open the world market for the insectoid garment as conceptual performance satire. To boycott the fashion industry. And finally, to express my admiration for those hard-working honey collectors. Well then! Admit it. You lost a wager. I lost a wager. <laughs> wow. Why are you locked up here? You seem to be wise and balanced. I have a theory. I think it has something to do with my clothes. Men in bee suits have a bad reputation. They do. They do. 
<laughs> Where do you think the bad reputation of the bee look stems from? There's no question about that. The media. Men in bee suits are generally represented as the laughing stock. And the main culprit? Children's animated films. Animation movie authors are basically <laughs> mounting a campaign against us. The That's Mexican dark. in The Simpsons. Oh my God. Charlie Brown in Peanuts. <laughs> or Bumblebee from Transformers. <laughs> Men in bee suits are the clowns of the media. Well then. Why do you have such big ears? All the better to eat you with. Uh... And as a valve for my exceptionally high output of earwax, I'm afraid. <laughs> exceptionally uh... high output of earwax? Yuck! Yes, it is no picnic. I, would I don't think it, it should be think. used in the same context as picnic at all. This overproduction is some kind of an allergic reaction with me. I'm allergic to hot beverages. Ah, I could still use a good cup of coffee right now. What was the deal with your earwax again? It is some kind of an allergic reaction to hot beverages. Okay. Oh, so since it's showing I me that still again, a cup of coffee right now. That's gonna be something I can do then. Yeah, because it keeps coming up. I'll be going then. Okay, Go so bear with me. It's been a long time. So, do you have a cup? I think back here was the bar, wasn't it? Yes. And he won't do anything for me until he's done with his customer. I'm pretty sure. Uh, the menu. That's Peter. Pedro's full. Okay. Starting to remember everybody. Uh, but back here, I think, is where I got the cup. Is this. What's this? Is this a. Oh, that's, that's cool. Just, you know, just walk there. I, um, can I talk to it? <laughs> this is a coffee shoot, not a coal shoot. Okay, okay, so it's coffee. So, what if I... That's where you put coins. Wow. Thanks. Thanks, Edna. Okay, so when I got... Well, it said coins, but maybe it's just one that I need? Mmm. Coffee. Sounds kind of like it. So if I... Alright, that's what I get for not playing in a while. Technical difficulties, my friends. They're always amazing. So, but I think I'm back up and rolling. So we are gonna, whoops, pick up the cup. Which now should have coffee. And we are gonna give it to B-Man because he said that he uh, has the allergic reaction to hot drinks. So we're gonna see what that gives us and what we can do next. Coffee, be mad. Here, I've brought you a cup of coffee. How considerate of you. Right, considerate. <laughs> okay, and I got back earwax. Yay. To be honest, I am not sure what to do with that. Um, hmm. Let's see. Uh, I haven't talked to Petra since coming back and trying to play this game, so let's turn this on. Surprise! Oops! Still at me. Or, still at him. Well, interesting choice of venue. What do you mean? 
Don't you think more people would come if it wasn't in the bathroom of all places? Well, I, I, I would hope so. It is a surprise party after all. And <laughs> what could possibly be more surprising? Surprising doesn't do it justice. Appalling or absurd. That's more like it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, where would you have thrown the party? Anywhere else. How about the recreation room? That was my first thought, too. But King Adrian was opposed. King Adrian? I suppose. He rules the lounge. He is a wise and just king. A wise and rumor has just... it that he's psychic. Crazy person. He rarely receives visitors, though, I'm afraid. His right-hand man, Druggle Jug, is as tough as he is attractive. Well, okay then. How about the TV room? No! I loathe parties where everyone just hangs around in front of the tube! Fair enough, me too. How about the break room? Huh? No! We never go in there anymore. Three <laughs> people vanish there once. Well, that's they terrifying. were actors. I think they were auditioning for a play. They were never seen again. Well then, how about the bar? That's out of the question. Peter's been sitting there all day long, crying into his drink. And it's supposed to be a surprise party. He's a little touchy when it comes to his age. <laughs> I hope the party can cheer him up a little. It's okay, all of us. And I... Yeah. Any room would have been better. Yeah. I like it here. Yeah, well, you, you keep on keep celebrating. On celebrating. Oh, I will. <laughs> oh, yeah. Turn the lights off on your way out. We'll, we'll think see. Think about it. All right. Um, hmm. I don't know if I ever explored around here. Uh, finger food. Dip. It's on a cup. Can I pick any of that stuff up? That would be rather rude. Oh, I suppose. You just can't reach it. That too. <laughs> I don't want to take it all at once. Okay, so I did. S I took the dip. It looks like. Okay. Well. So look. Let's turn this off again. We'll take off. Okay. So, after some time and wandering around and talking to people, um, I think what I'm supposed to do is give this these guys... Yeah, the dip is the only thing that makes sense. Pretty sure I'm supposed to do something with these guys because the barkeep won't do anything for me until Peter is gone. I'll have to try and get Peter to go to the bathroom to see Petra. So, I think this is it. I've talked to everybody else again. So... I've got something for you. This will get you back on your feet in no time. I doubt that. Maybe? Maybe? Wow. Gone very quickly. I don't want to know what was in that dip or why. Okay, so he will talk to me now, I believe. Barkeep, one drink, please. Of course, my dear. What will it be? I don't know. What do you got? Uh... <laughs> One walkthrough, please. Can one I get a walk walkthrough, through? please? Yeah, you would like one of those, wouldn't you? Uh, kind of right now. not on the menu, though. I would really like that, actually, because, yeah. Oh, wait, there, there was a menu. Let's look at it. Walkthrough would be nice. It's been a long time. The choice is rather limited, except for the stinky drink. Everything has been crossed out. Well, that sounds wonderful. Um, can I add one of those? Barkeep, one drink, please. Of course, my dear. What will it be? Uh, she said stinky drink. Okay. A stinky one. drink, please. One stinky drink coming up. That's cute. With a little umbrella. Aww. It, what's that funky smell? Don't spell it, Enda. Did somebody die suddenly? Probably. 
Probably. Alright. Oh, okay. So, I'm gonna use... I must be crazy. Oh, God. <laughs> Are you going to be Are sick? you alright? <laughs> Edna, say something. The natives have surrounded the fort, Colonel. Uh, Phew, thank God. Everything back to normal. Uh, How is the drink? So-so. Well, at least you finished it. Yes, I had to destroy it. Something <laughs> as diabolical as this stinky drink should not roam free in the world. Besides, I didn't finish it completely. I left the fly. Y yum. Y yum. Alright. Well, let's go see... You know, I want to see if uh, Peter ever found Petra. So we're gonna walk over back to the bathrooms again and see. Uh, if it's. I've literally been all over this place again. Uh, it was. It's this one. It's this one. Aww. That's kind of adorable. Can I talk to them? I'd rather not disturb them. Okay. I'm sure they want to be left alone. I don't know. It does look kind of cute, though. Can I... can I take this stuff now? I don't want to take it all at once. Are you sure? Put the chips over there. Yeah, I don't want to disturb them, but let me just walk right up next to them and pretend that nothing's different. Oh boy. Alright, you know what? Might be a relatively short video, but it's been a really long recording. Cause, yeah, I had to, had to figure some stuff out again. Cause like I said, it's been a long time. So we are going to try and finish up this video uh, as soon as I possibly can. Um, but for now, this has been Oreo of Multiplayer playing my Let's Play of Edna and Harvey the Breakout. Check it out if you haven't played it already. Um, it's a really fun game. Uh, one of those point-and-click games for you, so it's not something that's uh, too complicated to learn the controls of. You just gotta figure out how to get from point A to point B, and it's much easier to do if you haven't taken, you know, a uh, four-month gap in between play. So, I think with that, as always, I will see you later! <laughs>